Here's how to fix if your iOS update is stuck on your iPhone. Now, if you're trying to update to the latest version of the iOS operating system, but it's just not working, maybe there's a problem with it or just spinning and not going anywhere, I'll show you how to fix it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, there are three different things we will check. The very first thing is we'll go into our settings here and we'll tap on general and software update. Now you can see I have an iOS update here, iOS 18.3 beta. Now, of course, you can tap on the blue update now or update tonight button, and it will go through the process of downloading and installing it. There are three reasons that are commonly causing problems with it being stuck. The very first one is that you don't have enough space on your phone. So you can see here, it says it requires 7.38 gigabytes of space on your phone. So let's go back here and tap on iPhone storage. You're going to look to see if you have enough space on here essentially to download that temporarily so that you can install that new update. If you don't have enough space, just go in any of these apps and just hit delete or offload them to free up that space temporarily. That is the first thing we'll check. The second thing we'll check is hop out of here. And of course, you need to download seven gigabytes worth of data onto your phone. So you need a fast enough internet connection. So let's open up a web browser here. And we're just going to type in speed test. And in Google, you can hit run speed test. Now, you need a fast enough internet connection to be able to download and install that specific iOS operating system. You can see I have 460 megabytes per second. You can basically do this if you have, let's say, over 10 or 15 megabytes per second. It should be fast enough, but the faster is the better in this instance because it'll just go through the download process faster. Now, after we've done that, the third thing to check is let's go into our settings here again, and we'll go back, back again, and we're going to tap on battery. Now, if you have low power mode turned on, or potentially if you have a battery health issue that could cause issues because your phone is going to look to see if you have enough battery life to sustain it through downloading and installing that iOS operating system and installing it through the entire process. So usually you need above 50 basically percent on your battery for it to go through this process. Otherwise, it'll just say, hey, plug in your iPhone, charge it until it gets above 50 or just leave it charging throughout the entire process. And then it can be basically unstuck. So it will pause everything, essentially delay everything until you get enough battery life. Either that one, it has above 50% or two, that basically it's charged and plugged in the entire time. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.